Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. Welcome back to what? To Salar Khan YouTube channel. Today is the sixth biasing configuration we see. And, and that is what? That is the common base configuration. The common base configuration. So as the name suggests, the base is common to the input and the output side. So what do you have? So let me draw the, the figure. The figure is somewhat like this. You have uh, the base terminal has been grounded. The base terminal has been grounded, right? Yes. This is your collector terminal. This one is your emitter terminal. Now, why am I showing it a little in, in, in an inverted sort of a manner? Because the input is applied at the emitter terminal. So, I want to keep the input at one side and the output uh, input at the left and output at the right. So, that is just a little easy to understand. So, that's why I'm showing it a little inverted, right? Yes. So, with the emitter, you have what? You have your uh, 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 resistance RE. And, and and what else do you have is is the biasing potential negative to positive VEE -E, negative to positive and this is connected to the ground over here so this is your VEE -E, the biasing potential similar is the case for the collector you have RC and you have a positive to negative uh, voltage supply RC and then you have a positive to negative supply and then it's connected to the ground this is VCC, this is RC. So, what is the gate? This is the base terminal. So, the base terminal is grounded. The input is applied what? The AC input is applied at the, at the emitter terminal and the AC output is taken from the collector terminal. So, over here the output is the co collector. So, which means the output current we'll be talking about is the output characteristics that would be IC versus a what? VCB, the collector to base voltage, right? Yes, the collector to base voltage would be the output voltage. So, have a look. Input is applied, what? You don't have any uh, AC input is not applied. This is the DC analysis. You don't have to do anything with the capacitors. Let's say we have a KVL to the input loop. KVL to the input loop for the uh, DC analysis. What do you have? Have a look. Uh, plus to minus so you have a minus VEE you have uh, wait wait the emitter current would be in this direction the emitter current is in the leaving direction right so this would be in this direction so which means let me take it in the opposite side so you have a, a, a plus to minus IERE IERE and then you have a minus to plus so you have plus VEE and this is equal to this is your base terminal, emitter terminal, collector terminal. So you also have a minus a VBE is equal to zero. And, and, and is this right? Minus VEE -E plus IERE. -E. And then plus VBE. -E. Yes, this is fine. This is fine. So so from here you can calculate the value of IE which is what which would be the input current in this particular example so IE would come out to be what VEE minus VBE upon the emitter resistance or the resistance connected in series with the emitter leg so IE is this value now you know again that uh, IE would be approximately equal to IC right IE would be approximately equal to IC. This is something that you know. IE is approximately equal to IC. Because IE is IC plus IB and IB is very, very small. Right? Yes. Similarly, you can apply the KVL to the output loop. KVL to the output loop. What would this say? The direction of the current is what? IE is the end, is the leaving current. IC is the entering current similarly IB would also be the base current if it exists so what do you have in this direction you have a negative to positive so you have plus VCC minus ICRC then you have what VCB the collector to base minus VCB and this is equal to zero and let me check so you have a VCC uh, wait 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 I have a mistake now 
so they have not applied no yes so vcb icrc minus vcc yes this is fine so you can write vcc as vcb as what vcb vcb is the required right collector to base voltage so this is vcc minus icrc is that fine it is it is ic is approximately equal to ie okay yes yes you know that very well again and similarly you can apply the kvl to the entire outside perimeter of the network the entire outside perimeter the entire outside which would cover collector to base and then base to emitter so so let's say we do that as well so let's say if i do it where let's say i do it here so kvl to entire outside perimeter so what would that result in perimeter or whatever it is you know what i meaning is the 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 entire outside loop the input is separately done output is separately done let's say we take the entire outside loop so you have a negative vee plus iere what is the direction of the current that they've taken uh, whatever is the direction of the current you just go in one direction and you check so let's say i'm taking this direction okay so i'm starting with a vee so you have a plus vee i hope you can see then you have a negative to positive again so you have a plus vcc then you have a minus ic rc then you have a minus vcb then you have a minus vbe and then finally you have a minus ie re and this is equal to zero so from here you have to find out what you can find the collector to emitter voltage the collector to emitter voltage and i did not mention it anywhere vee minus ie re minus rc rc minus vcc so vcb minus vbe vcb minus vbe i can write it as what as a minus v VCE because uh, because what VCB plus VBE is what this why have I written because VCB plus VBE is a VCE so that is why so which means I can find it out from here that VCE is uh, VEE plus VCC minus ICRC minus ie re so this is what you have again you can put ie approximately equal to ic right or so so this is the the correct equation okay this is the the, the correct equation or you could also write that ic is approximately equal to ie so you could say that your vce would come out to be vee plus vcc minus ic times rc plus re so you can use this little bit of approximation as well so let's say we move on to an example the book example what does it states determine the current ie and ib and the voltages so so what is required ie is required ib is required and the voltage vce and vcb vce is required vcb is required for the common base configuration as shown in the figure so the figure is shown some sort of this in this manner what do you have the the beta value is given what is given so i would write it over here that the value of beta is 60 then you have re is 1.2 kilo ohms ve is 4 volts Then you have RC is 2.4 kilo ohms and then VCC is 10 volts. So once again I tell you, once again I tell you that I am writing this directly in this sort of manner because I am given a question in this sort of uh, uh, you know uh, configuration directly okay. You have to check the question whether this is given in this manner or not. 
let's suppose let's suppose you are given v e in the opposite polarity and you just take these formulas directly and put in the values so that is wrong everything you get wrong right so the thing is what do you have to do you have to keep a check on it now I wrote this directly over here because my question was the exact similar figure. So in the exam or anywhere you're not given the values like this and you're asked to find out these values by putting in the formula. No, you have to do what? You have to keep a check on the question. The, the question is given in this sort of a manner. So over there I recommend what? Don't uh, remember the formulas. Don't try to, to, to you know, uh, just uh, uh, what do we call it? memorize don't memorize the formulas okay just apply the kvls at that time and and so that may give you a bit of an extra presentation as well right yes over there you're given a question let's say like this you apply the kvl to the input loop you give the formula and then put in that value and find it out similarly apply this kvl over here and then do this fine yes so anyways let's say we put in the value so ie is what ie would be this thing ie would come out to be VEE which is 4 minus VBE is 0.7 considering a silicon transistor divided by RE. RE is 1.2 into 10 to the power 3. IE comes out to be from the book 2.75 milliampere. 2.75 2 milliampere. IE is done. IB is what? Where do we have IB? IB is what? How to find out IB? So. So as IE is what? Beta plus 1 times IB. This is the relation between IB and IE. So you have IE, you have beta, so you can find out the value of IB. So IB would come out to be 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by beta plus 1. And beta plus 1 would be 61. So IB comes out to be, where is it? 45.08 microamperes. 45.08 microamperes. Right? Yes. Now we see E. So we see E. You have this formula. For V C E, you have this formula. V C E is what? It would be V E E 4 plus V C C 10 minus I C is what? So you don't have I C. So I C is approximately equal to I B. Hmm? IE sorry yes yes so you can put either IC over here or you can put or an IE over here so whatever is given so over here you have your IE so put it over there so IE is what 2.75 into 10 to the power negative 3 and into RC plus RE so RC and RE both are given 2.4 plus 1.2 and this is in the kilohertz in the kilo range so vce comes out to be what vce is 4.1 volts 4.1 volts similarly vcb vcb is what the formula over here vcc which is going to be 10 minus ic ic times rc so ic is again not going so you have ie so you have 2.75 10 power minus 3 re is what it's 1.2 into 10 power 3 the collector to base voltage vcb is 3.51 volts 3.51 volts and that is it that is it so that is it for this video this is the common base configuration in which the base is common to the input and output side the input uh, the base is at the ground terminal input is applied emitter output is taken across the collector so the collector so the output characteristics or the output curve would be what the q point would be what i c v c b right i c v c b so that is it about it I once again I tell you don't memorize the formulas do it do it in this way whenever you are given a question at that particular time according to those polarities just uh, uh, apply the KVLs apply the KVLs go for just you need to remember the direction of the currents for the NPN transistor and for the PNP transistor what about the direction of the base current emitter current and the leaving current so over here have a look this is the NPN transistor the emitter current is leaving if the emitter is leaving the base 
and the collector would be entering why because ie would be always equal to ic plus ib this is for both for npn for pnp so for npn ie is leaving ic and ib would be entering similarly for pnp ie would be entering so IC and IB would be leaving. Only remember this direction of the currents and then the KVL you can apply according to the polarities. Fine? Yes. That is it about this video. See you in the next one. Maybe with some others. Till then take care. Goodbye.